First pitch coming in at 4.40 p.m. for the World Series. Max Scherzer on the bump. Dynastic matchup between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Atlanta Braves. A packed house here at Yankee Stadium. The Cathedral of Baseball. And here we go. First pitch to Otis. Otis with a fly to center. Otis Nixon delivers! Snow on the one, two, going the other way. High fly ball, deep left field, and gone! And he shoots one to center. Diving catch out in center by Combs. Looks in for the sign. Here's the two, two. Fly ball, right field at the track, at the wall, and gone! Three, one count. Babe will swing at that offering. Deep center field. This one's got a chance, and it is gone! Babe Ruth. 515 feet out of the yard. Are you kidding me? I have never seen a ball go that far. Count is two balls, two strikes. Croc goes the other way. Base hit. Stalker comes in to score. Another one comes in. And Dykstra scores. Phillies take the lead here in the ninth. They're up five to three. If you look on the yeah. field right there, my mouse is over. Jeremy <laughs> Affelt, he was jumping up and down on the first baseline. Jeremy Affelt, World Series champion in San Francisco. That is a walk-off. Otis Nixon delivering in the bottom of the ninth, lifting the Braves to the 7-5 victory on Monday Night Baseball. Here is the rundown before the big reveal. Yes, on your screen right now, what the plan is. We're going to start with a show me showdown. That's a little hint for you out there in case you don't know. A little show me showdown. I think the answer is right there. Blowing in the show me wind. Please don't show me any wind though. We'll be playing a little PT live right after that. We'll assemble our lineup for tomorrow. PT live. If you're not familiar with that, we'll uh, give you the rundown on PT live, how to play at home and score yourself. We're also going to be playing a little Homer hindsight. I believe I'm not sure if this is the first time we've played it on the out of the park developments channel, but we shall be doing that as well. And we'll close this fine Monday night with some pack rips and that is the rundown we'll try to stick to it best we can we'll see what happens uh this showdown being brought to you by our good friend barry basher 11 barry if you are here i see you there's a big old wave hello internet friends hello barry basher barry basher is a Club 42 member over on the Dr. Dynastic channel and chose this matchup, the Show Me sh Showdown. So that is the rundown, what we are going to be doing today. All right. I like to keep it formal on this show. You can tell I do. Dr. D here. What's up, guys? Uh, Hawaiian style on a Monday. So feel free to wear Hawaiian clothes on monday okay now as far as the game itself folks uh we're gonna go into it in just a moment and uh, let me again show you the rundown here what we are planning on doing today so uh this is as formal as as stl jason gets i suppose uh how's everybody doing what are you doing let me know what your uh, plans are for this fine fine monday and uh, how your weekend was. How is your team looking? How are we doing? We doing good? We doing bad? Somewhere in the middle? I think I'm somewhere in the middle. Didn't make the playoffs. <clears throat> playoffs. 
Uh, my theme team is still in goal. Didn't get relegated. Didn't get promoted. Somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. Won 100 games, I'm hearing. One of y'all saying that. That is great to hear. Iron still says dynamic. Dynamic and I, dynastic, uh, we're cousins. According to EBC and NYC, too, we're the same person. We are the same person. I am Mr. Dynamic. <laughs> Something like that. All right, we're going to load up this game very quickly, and uh, then we're going to get to it. It's a little game I like to call Out of the Park Baseball 24. 24 years of excellence have all led to this. Out of the Park the Baseball 24 is the def oh, award-winning so MLB strategy See, this, game. This play what the pros play. Out of that. the Park Baseball 24 takes baseball that strategy to the next to level me. like never before. All new on-screen analytics so to power your decision-making, giving you a comprehensive already. view of the field. Dive deeper into the action with new 3D really? animations and visual improvements that bring uh, the game to life. The most ooh, detailed GM mode in sports games keeps raising the realness bar. Take it over. Do we go like and stop? And then we start again. Take two. Let me see how this goes. 24 years of excellence have all led to this. Out of the Park Baseball 24 is the definitive award-winning MLB strategy game. Play what the pros play. Out of the Park Baseball 24 takes baseball strategy to the next level like never before. All new on-screen analytics to power your decision-making, giving you a comprehensive view of the field. Dive deeper into the action with new 3D animations and visual improvements that bring the game to life. The most detailed GM mode in sports games keeps raising the realness bar. The most authentic experience ever. And Perfect Team swings back with a whole new experience. The incredible long-running baseball strategy series never stops hustling to be the best. Turn your team into a dynasty. Win the World Series. Out of the Park Baseball 24, the Infinite Baseball Sandbox. Available March 2023. All right, and if you haven't already done so, there is a link. I mean, I mean, if you're watching the stream, you probably have a copy out of the Park Baseball. If you'd like to pick up an extra copy, buy one for a friend. There's a link on your screen right now. And uh, you can use code DYNASTIC for 10% off. Mm. Mm. Okay, so uh, let me know what you're drinking. Uh, oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Hold on. What am I drinking? It's this one. This be a lot better. There we go. There we go. This is Monday Night Baseball, not Dr. Dynastic Baseball. Uh, I've got a little bit of uh, water and uh, Gatorade ice cubes. I know. It's a manly drink. Uh, this is also an ASMR channel on the side. Okay, so as you can see, the matchup here tonight is a Show Me Showdown. And it's, uh, yeah, two teams from the Show Me State. Missouri, Missouri, Missouri loves company, misery loves company, Missouri loves company. And we've got two Missouri teams. We have the 2015 World Series champion, Kansas City Royals, and the 2011 St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah. All right. How about that? Ludla, Dr. Dynastic, number one. All right. Well, I'll take that. Usually I'm called number two and other unsavory nicknames the i-70 rivalry minerva says minerva great to see you great to see all you bright shiny people holding hands this will be a best of three series we'll be playing game one we'll treat it we'll give it the championship style we'll give it championship treatment tonight uh here on game one on monday night baseball if you'd like to continue to watch the series well, I'll show you the schedule later, but uh, it is a best of three series. We'll continue that series on my channel, and it's in chat right now. Uh, a little thing called We Call. Ooh, there's a drop. Drops are working. Drops are working. Love me those uh, 
silver packs. This is my old link right there, and we'll be continuing that series. If you haven't already done so, would appreciate a follow, and uh, we look forward to seeing you over there. Because hey, if you uh, follow my channel, and uh, if you uh, hang out with us, then no, no, uh, no promises, but you could probably uh, end up choosing one of these matchups and get your name up on the scoreboard for Monday Night Baseball. I'm just saying. Okay, with that, I've already set the lineups best I can. And yes, professional sports casting right there. Spotting charts, all that right here on your screen here, folks. Uh, did about four hours of prep work today. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Doing that and setting lineups best I could. You know, sometimes out of the park has a mind of its own. It wants to set its own lineup. So I try to set this up best we can. So we're going to get Jordano. Ventura and Chris Carpenter. Those are your starting pitchers for tonight. Now, you could say other, you could say Volquez, you could say Cueto for Kansas City. I wouldn't blame you. And, uh, you know, hey, you could make an argument for St. Louis too, but we did the best we could with what we've got. So that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. All righty. A Royals team that really helped me love the Royals today. That is great. And let me know in chat, what's the game that kind of got your love? What what kind of started your love affair with your favorite baseball team? And I'll share mine. You show me yours, I'll show you mine. Who tried a ball is here? Oh boy. I think we're going to get a Detroit Tigers reference somewhere here. <laughs> but again, yeah, let me know what team is uh, the team that started it all for you. Dr. Dynam Stick. I think that is the proper name. Okay. Um, so we're going to get this series started. And uh, yeah, let's play a little Monday Night Baseball. Monday Night Baseball. Move over football. And no hot tub streams yet. That'll be the end of the month. Lord willing. To end sub uh, September. Or hot tub timber. I don't know what you want to call it. But something like that. Oh, let me record on this so uh, I can re put this on YouTube later. Did that? Oh, there we go. Ooh, hey, ooh. All sorts of multitasking here tonight. Wow, wow. I can really do it all. Okay. Let's get ready to play, guys. And who's ready? Yeah, Hero Driver. There you go. Uh, and yeah, please let me know in chat. What is the team that started it? All for you. All right, folks, it is time for Monday Night Baseball. We got a classic for you tonight. Instant classic. We're going to have the Kansas City Royals of 2015 and the 2011 St. Louis Cardinals. Now, in real life, of course, we all know these two teams squared off back in 1985. We decided that wasn't good enough. We want to see these two teams again, but we want to take the two World Series champions and square them off head-to-head. -head. Both of these teams winning their championships in their respective years. 2015 for the Royals and the 2011 Cards also winning a championship. Folks, this is the pregame show. It's brought to you by Cubs fan 23, Steve. Cubs fan would be very unhappy to see two Midwestern teams going head-to-head -head and not seeing the Cubbies. But guess what, folks? We may see the Cubs next week on Monday Night Baseball for the first time. As far as this matchup goes, it's a good one here tonight. Two World Series champions going head-to-head -head for Missouri bragging rights. The Royals and the Cardinals. Let me know in chat which team you will be rooting for tonight. The Royals or the Cardinals. Let's introduce your starting lineups. They're brought to you by, as always, Hertz Donut. Next time you're in Cedar Falls, Iowa, you might just find really vanilla gorilla at Hertz Donut. Open 25 8. Want a Hertz? Hertz Donut, the best in Cedar Falls. Defensively, for the National League champion St. Louis Cardinals, who won 90 games and won the NL wild card on the final day of the regular season, the Cardinals, their outfield, Holiday, Jay, and Craig. Defensively on the infield, Freeze, Burkall, Tirio, Pujols, Yadier Molina. Three straight All-Star game appearances for Yadi behind the dish in 2011. 
And on the bump, getting the start, the right-hander. The 36-year-old right-hander. 11-game winner. Former 21-game winner back in 2005, Chris Carpenter. Offensively for the Royals here on this Monday evening on Out of the Park Developments on Twitch. For the cards, it will be Alcides Escobar leading off. Ben Zobrist batting second. Lorenzo Kane in the three spot. Eric Hosmer, first baseman batting cleanup. He'll be followed by Kendris Morales batting fifth. He'll DH tonight. Mike Moustakis is at third. And he'll be followed by Salvador Perez, Alex Gordon, and Alex Rios batting ninth. If it wasn't enough that we had Alex... AZ Axel. We got a, t a couple of Axels batting eight and nine as well for the Kansas City Royals. Those have been your starting lineups. All right, as far as the game time temperature tonight here in St. Louis, Missouri, partly cloudy skies, wind blowing out to left at 11 miles an hour. You love to see that. And the wind could play a factor in this one. 62 degrees here tonight. Your pregame weather report being brought to you by Lost Duck TW. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a Lost Duck TW. All right, with those introductions now out of the way, it's time for our first pitch. Brought to you by Chess Safari. It ain't checkers, it's chess. Chess Safari. Show me showdown tonight between the Cardinals and the Royals of 2011 and 2015. Beautiful day for some baseball here at Bush. First batter of the game, Escobar will take it, and he's hit. So Alcides Escobar takes one for the team on the very first pitch of the game. I don't know if that was an intentional message sent by Carp, but it was heard loud and clear in the Royals dugout. Another look here. There are a few Royals now up on the steps here. On the dugout. A little bit surprised to see that. We wind up the replay. And luckily we'll get that whole panoramic of this beautiful stadium here at Bush. Hit him in the back of the leg. Escobar gets a free pass. So he is on first. Now see this Escobar. Now watch out for Escobar. 26 stolen bases on the year. 26 steals. Caught stealing nine times for Alcides. Alcides Escobar on first. Hmm. Well, let me check that, actually. We're going to go back. Uh, it's showing you 2011 stats. It's actually 17 stolen bases in 2015. So Alcides Escobar is at the plate. And that brings up Ben Zobris, super utility player. Does it all. The Swiss Army knife. Second base, shortstop, left field, right field. He does it all. Drafted by the Houston Astros back in 2004, then over to Tampa Bay in the Aubrey Huff trade in 2006, where later that year he made his MLB debut. And now Zobrist, the well-traveled Ben Zobrist, after going over to Oakland from Tampa, well, not much long after that, he got shipped off to Kansas City here for the Royals, leading that late-season push into the postseason in the AL Central. Zobris behind in the count. No balls, two strikes. Carpenter gives up a fly ball to right. Easy grab and right by Craig. And there's one down. All right, Lorenzo K now digs in. Lorenzo, 307 average on the year. First all star game appearance here in 2015. Setting career highs in average, hits, doubles, triples, home runs, on base percentage, slugging, also 28 steals. Tied for a career high for Lorenzo K. Carpenter from the stretch to K. Ground ball, second base. He'll get the force at second. And Kane reaches on a fielder's choice. Now it's Eric Os Osmer at the plate. Osmer, number three overall pick back in 2008. 
Boy, the Kansas City Royals really taking advantage of some pretty lean years. And they were able to capitalize with some top five draft picks. And they really hit a home run with Eric Hosmer. Number three overall pick out of Plantation, Florida. 2-1 to Hosmer. Hosmer fly ball deep to left field at the track at the wall. Clearing the wall. Eric Hosmer opposite field home run. And the Royals pull out the red carpet. They're on top two to nothing here in St. Louis. Eric Hosmer with that oppo taco. Brought to you by RK Brasi. When you need a little pick-me-up, try the oppo taco. Oppo taco when your game needs a little ole. 392 feet. Out to left. We mentioned this wind was going to be a factor. Hosmer proving us right right there on that pitch. So Hosmer has the Royals on top two to nothing. Stuns silence here at Bush. Now it's Kendris Morales. Finally an injury free season for Kendris. First time since the 2013 season that Morales has played injury free baseball. And what a season he had. 290 average, 22 home runs, 106 RBI. Kendris Morales on the 0-1. Morales, lazy fly ball to left, easy play, out and left by Holiday. Side retired, but the Royals are on the board, heading to the bottom of the first in St. Louis. Royals lead it, two to nothing. All right, as we begin the bottom of the first at Bush between the two championship squads from Missouri, the Cardinals and the Royals. Rafael Furcal will be your leadoff man. He'll be followed by Alan Craig batting second. The MVP himself, three-time National League MVP, Albert Pujols batting third in what could be a walk year for Pujols. More on that throughout the broadcast. Matt Holliday batting cleanup. The DH, former Houston Astro Lance Berkman batting fifth. David Freeze is in the sixth spot tonight. Yadier Molina, 29-year-old catcher, is batting seventh, followed by the young John Jay batting eighth, and the veteran Ryan Terrio batting ninth for the Cards. Defensively for the Royals, on the outfield, it's Gordon, Kane, and Rios. On the infield, on the corners, Moustakis at third, Hosmer at first, Three straight gold gloves for Eric Hosmer from 2013 through this year in 2015. Up the middle, Escobar, another gold glove, and Ben Zobrist at second. Salvador Perez, a gold glover in his own right, is catching tonight for the right-handed starting pitcher for the Royals, Giordano Ventura. Ventura, his second full season in the big leagues. 13 wins against eight losses and a 4.08 earned run average. Those are your starting lineups again, as always. Brought to you by Hertz Donut. Burkhall steps in. Made the big jump from A ball to the majors back in 2000. The rare jump from A ball to the major leagues. Can you imagine that? It was with the Colorado Rockies at the time. Walt Weiss went down with an injury. They needed help quick, and they threw Al, uh, Rafael for a call into the mix. Rafael for a call here with a career dating back to the year 2000 when he was 22 years old. Now a veteran shortstop for a call leading this thing off. The one to Rafael. 255 hitter on the year. He'll bloop one the other way. Left fielder coming in and making the grab is Gordon for out number one. That brings up Alan Craig now. Second season in the big leagues. Former standout. Four-year starter in the Pac-10 conference playing at Cal Berkeley. Alan Craig. 11 home runs this year. His second season in the bigs. A 315 average. 2-2 pitch on the way to Craig. Craig lifts a little blooper to left. This one will settle in. So a soft liner to left for 
Alan Craig. First base knock of the ball game for St. Louis. And now it's Albert Pujols. When we say down here, we, we take it with a grain of salt. 299 average, 37 home runs, 99 RBI. Those are fantastic statistics for anyone but Albert Pujols. First time in Albert Pujols' career that he fails to drive in 100 runs. He fell just a run shy at 99. Also, his first major league season below 300. He missed that by one point. 299 here in 2011 for the Cards. Pujols with a man on. Grounded a second. This could be two, and it will be. Four, six, three, on your scorecard, that double play being brought to you by Dono, 43-333. At the end of one, it's Kansas City two and St. Louis nothing. Again, a big thank you tonight to Barry Basher 11. Barry, thank you for choosing this matchup. And if you're just joining us, yes, Eric Hosmer going oppo. A two run jack for KC. Gets the Royals with cheese up on the board, two to nothing. A quick moment while I just take a sippy sip of the drinky drink. Big shout out to all of you in the dynastic community. Thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, your names up in the spotlight right now. Those are gold sponsors. That means you've got a tier one sub, my friends. And some of you have a streak going six months. Beetle Boy 911 and EBC in NYC2 channeling your inner Cal Ripken Jr. slash Lou Gehrig. Not to be confused with Wally Pip. Thank you, guys. Let it play out till that one finishes so I can rest up here. I'm doing the big gulp on the mic just to prove that I j I'm not like running away. I'm with you guys. I'm not watching Monday night something else right now. It's all about Monday night baseball. How dare you even think about another sport on a night like this. Rolling through chat real quick, seeing if anybody uh, had any comments about what the team was that got you going. Minerva says the home run race has a five-year-old. Amazing. Loved a good dinger. Sosa gave plenty of those. Going back to Sosa versus Mac. And no, there are no other sports. No other sports. Just baseball. Baseball and baseball only. All right, I think the final... Sponsors are coming off the screen. Again, look for your name. If you're a sub on my channel, there you are. And as always, we invite you, if you uh, have not checked out the channel, please give me a follow. We'd love to give you a shout out here on the broadcast here tonight. Dr. Dynastic. We also have some fine streamers hanging out tonight. EVC and NYC2 is in chat. Welcome, my friend. EVC and NYC2 is streaming earlier today and also az axel coming in with the raid tonight az thank you so much great to see az back in the streaming game all right there we go let's get back to baseball all right top of two in st louis two nothing your score the royals Jumping out to a 2-0 lead on the Eric Hosmer two-run Jackie. We're going to have Moustakis, Perez, and Gordon scheduled hitters for the Royals here in the top of the second. Just looking here at the list on the roster. And the Royals, many say, setting the bar right now for Major League Baseball. What they have done has been just nothing short of amazing. Hitting on a variety of draft picks. Mike Moustakis, number two pick, 2007. That, of course, turning out pretty well. 
Alex Gordon, who's in the hole right now, also a number two pick back in 2005. Hosmer, early in the broadcast, hitting that two-run home run, the number three overall pick in 2008. They hit with some picks in the later rounds as well, and they've made some big draft picks uh, internationally, getting some amateur free agents, and, of course, getting some big acquisitions on the trading wire as well. So the Royals of 2015 have really pieced something together here and have championship aspirations that could last for quite some time. Moustakis, your laid off man. Standout player at Chatsworth High School in California. Hit 52 home runs as a high schooler. That record stands as a state prep record for a high schooler in a prep career. Mike Moustakis, 52 career home runs. Well, right now he's got 74 career home runs in the big leagues. 22 home runs, a new career high here in 2015 for Mike Moustakis. Who sat the plate. Carpenter dials up a fastball and blows it by him. Excuse me, that was a slider. And Moustakis goes down on strikes. It's our first strikeout of the game. First strike out of the game being brought to you by Podman 19. Experience the ultimate getaway. Book your trip today to America's finest city, San Diego. Podman 19. Salvi comes up now. Salvador Perez, three-time All-Star out of Valencia, Venezuela. Signed with the Royals in 2006. Signing bonus as a 16-year-old, $65,000. Salvi, Salvador Perez. 1-2 from Carp. Carp hit him. Chris Carpenter has hit a second batter in this ball game. And we know what happened in the first inning. He hit Escobar. A couple batters later, Hosmer made him pay with a two-run home run. Carpenter having some bouts with control problems, perhaps. Only 55 base on balls in 237 innings pitched. I have to say, that's quite the surprise. That brings up Alex Gordon, another highly regarded former prospect for the Royals. Drafted out of Nebraska, number two overall pick. Highest drafted Cornhusker since Darren Erstad went number one overall to the Angels back in 1995. Alex Gordon at the plate, full count pitch, 3-2. Looking at strike three. So Carpenter gets him looking at the changeup. That really caught him off guard. Another look at the replay. Our first of the night being brought to you by Kashil RM. All right. EBC apparently knows Chatsworth very well. Outfield wall in Chatsworth starts right behind second base. I mean, he's not just a New Yorker, folks. He knows his Southern California trivia. Salvi awaits on first for Alex Rios. Rios winning his first World Series ring in his 13-year career here with the Royals. Started his major league career in Toronto, then over to Chicago with the White Sox, then Texas, and now here, perhaps one final stop in his 13-year major league career, Alex Rios. Rios on a 1-2 pitch. Chases on strike three. He goes down on strikes. Carp leaves a runner stranded as we go to the bottom of two in St. Louis. All right, folks, how are we looking so far? What do we think? Good game, GG? Brings me back. I'd love to see that. Alex Rios, journeyman play. Bottom of two. Here we go. It's a four, five, and six portion of the cards lineup. Holiday, Berkman, and Freeze. Matt Holiday, impressive all star. Back to back all star seasons here in St. Louis after coming over from Colorado, where he was a three time all star for the Rockies in 06, 07, and 08. Matt Holiday quickly becoming a fan favorite here in St. Louis. 
strike Swing and a miss, strike three. Ordano Ventura, the ace, gets the strikeout his first. Do not go in there. Woo! That brings up Lance Berkman. Lance making a new home for himself here in St. Louis. Born and raised in Texas, played college ball at Rice in Houston, and then drafted by the Houston Astros. Number 16 overall back in 1997, Lance Berkman. Berkman swings at the 1-1 offering. Ground ball. Sharp grounder handled nicely by Hosmer. There's a big reason why Eric Hosmer has now won three straight gold glove awards here's another look on your replay replay being brought to you by fda and that brings up david freeze freeze a 297 hitter this year 10 home runs 55 rbi david freeze ninth round pick from the san diego farm system back in 2006 All right, here is David Freeze on 3-2. And goes the other way for a base hit. Sharp liner through the right side. David Freeze has a two-out single. Some signs of life now for St. Louis. Boy, they could use it after this crowd was shushed with a two-run home run by the man holding Freeze on first, Eric Hosmer. Our first look now at Yadier Molina for the night. Yadi out of Vega Alta, Puerto Rico. 305 batting average this year with 14 home runs. Fourth round pick. Homegrown kid in the St. Louis farm system. Started his major league career as a drafty. Fourth round pick in 2000. And he's been here ever since. Look at that comparison between these two at the plate right now. Just take a moment to enjoy what we're seeing. Yadier Molina at the plate. Salvador Perez behind the dish. Little would we know that both of these players would spend their entire careers with their respective teams. Just a little glimpse of what's to come between Molina and Perez. Right now, arguably at the height of their major league careers. Yadi making his first plate appearance of the night. Ventura from the stretch. First pitch to Yachty. Yachty grounds to third. The throw to second will be in time. They'll get the force out. Two innings in the books at Bush. Your score remains the 2015 Royals 2 and the 2011 Cardinals nothing. All right, here's a look at the Out of the Park Development schedule. The official schedule for all things Out of the Park Developments here this week. Cardinal fan, 30,000. I want to thank you, my friend. Thank you for the follow on my channel. Sincerely appreciate it. Thank you very much. I cannot be bribed, though. Even though you are a Cardinal fan, I cannot guarantee a Cardinal victory here tonight. And welcome back for the start of the third inning in the Show Me Showdown between the Kansas City Royals and the St. Louis Cardinals. To the top of the lineup we go. Alcides Escobar will be your leadoff man. Alcides, first and only all-star appearance this year in 2015. Comes from pretty strong baseball lineage, Alcides does. Escobar. Cousins to pitchers Edwin and Calvin Escobar, as well as shortstop Michael Garcia. And an 18-year-old making his way through the Atlanta Braves farm system. I have a feeling we'll be hearing about this kid sometime. Ronald Acuna, all cousins with Alcides Escobar. Escobar works the count full, 3-2. Payoff pitch. Easy ground ball to second. No problem there for Tyrio. 
One up, one down. And now it's Ben Zobrist. A short-term rental for the Oakland Athletics who were speculating on Zobrist a little bit. Maybe thinking playoffs. Maybe thinking they could flip him for a little bit more. Well, he came over from Tampa Bay in January of 2015. Sent over to Billy Bean's Oakland A's. Well, seven months later, he got shipped out. Now, they did get Sean Manaya and others in exchange for Zobrist. We'll see who gets the better end of that deal. I think Kansas City loving this deal so far for Ben Zobrist. Zobrist, after coming over from the Oakland Athletics, hitting 284. Zobrist getting diagnosed with some knee issues. Uh, went over on the injured list for a spell with the A's. Never really looked like himself, uh, but is starting to hit his stride now for the Kansas City Royals. Switch hitting Zobrist, batting from the left side against the right-handed throwing Chris Carpenter. Zobrist swinging him in. Strike three. Carpenter gets his fourth K. So Carpenter... Settling down a little bit. Will now face Lorenzo Kane. Kane starting his career with the Milwaukee Brewers. 17th round choice in 2004. Came over with Alcides Escobar to Kansas City in the Zach Granke deal. That was back in 2010. Lorenzo Kane. 1-2 offering on the way. Kane is looking at strike three. Another strikeout for Carpenter. He is running. But his team is down 2 nothing. Head into the bottom of three. All right, we will take that drop. Thank you very much. Pack drop still coming, folks. If you start opening up those silver packs today, be sure to thank the good folks at Add the Park Developments for doing that. And let us know in chat what cards you're opening today, what you're getting from these packs. Eight, nine, and one hitters for St. Louis. Scheduled batters here in the bottom of the third. John Jay leading things off. 297 average on the year. John Jay will bat from the left side. 1 0 offering from Jay, uh, to Jay. He'll lay down a bunt, throw to first, bang, bang, play, and Jay beats it out. We got to take a look at this replay brought to you by FDA Wah. Boy, John Jay smoldering down the line and legs it out. A bun single. Ventura a little bit slow coming off the hop there. Cardinal fan 30,000 says, don't play PT. That is just fine. I think sometimes we're a little presumptuous about that, that uh, many people watch these streams only for the packs. And there are so many different ways to enjoy out-of-the-park baseball. How do you enjoy out-of-the-park? If you're not playing PT, what do you do? And if you do pay, play PT, how do you play the game? Share a story. Load up the chat. I know there are uh, 421 of you here tonight. Don't be shy. How do you play your out-of-the-park baseball? Ryan Terrio now steps up for his first plate appearance. Started his major league career with the Cubs back in 2005. Over to the Dodgers in 2010. Came over from the Dodgers before the start of the 2010 season for Blake Hawksworth. Ryan Terrio from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And no play at first. He legs it out. The riot, says EVC at NYC to the riot. Not Tyrio. Tells him the riot. Well, don't ask, don't ask uh, EVC how to pronounce therapist. Jay on second. Tyrio on first for Rafael for call. For call... You may not know. Completed the rare unassisted triple play for the Bravos versus St. Louis of all teams. That was back in 2003. 12th ever unassisted triple play in Major League history. Rafael Furcal. 
for call with two on. Nobody out. First pitch for call. Lays down the bunt. Trying to get the lead runner at third. They don't get him. Ventura picked it up off the ground. Tried to get the lead runner. And now the bases are loaded. My goodness. He had the free bag over at first. Ventura decided to try to wipe out the lead runner. Jay, just as he did going down the first baseline on a bunt to start this thing, beats the throw to third. Jay on third. Terrio on second. For call on first. Bases loaded for Alan Craig. Craig who tied a major league record by driving in game-winning runs three times in the 2011 series, now has a chance to give the Cards the lead. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Infield is back. Pitch gets through the catcher. A run will score. Wild pitch. Charge to Ventura. Jay scores. Terry out to third for call on second. Boy, oh boy. Death by a thousand cuts right now. And it's not over yet. Craig now at the plate with two aboard. From the stretch, payoff pitch. Fly to left. Runner will tag, play at the plate, throw is offline, and we're tied at two. Gordon's throw was offline. Terrio comes into the score on the Allen Craig sacrifice fly. 2-2 ball game. The show me showdown showing us something here. In front of 420 plus here on Monday Night Baseball. For call now represents the go-ahead run and Albert Pujols at the plate. It's been a rough inning for Ventura. Have to wonder if Ned Yost doesn't consider giving him the indication to put this runner on. It is Albert Pujols, after all. Full count, 3-2, ball four. So they wind up walking Pujols all the same. The unintentional intentional walk. Pujols draws the walk. Now it's two on. Matt Holiday. Chance to give the cards the lead. Ventura from the stretch. One, two, pitch. Another wild pitch. Now, this time they're going to charge the pass ball. They're going to charge a pass ball on Perez. But for call, does advance to third. Pujols to second. So Salvi will be blamed for that pass ball. Now it's Matt Holiday. Count 2-2. Two, two. Holiday swings and misses. Strike three. Big strikeout for Ventura there. And there are now two down. And now here comes Lance Berkman. Former member of the Killer Bees with Craig Biggio and Jeff Bagwell in Houston. And now those days are behind him. Down here after going over to the New York Yankees. But now this year, big season for him. 301 average, 31 home runs, 94 RBI. Lance Berkman, the National League Comeback Player of the Year. There's a one, two. The Berkman looking at strike three. He painted the corner there. Perez framed it very nicely on the outside edge. The card strand two, but they score two at the end of three. It's 2-2 in the Show Me Showdown. Hey, Ezra Denny is in the house. Here's a look at your scoreboard here tonight. Here is the schedule here for yours truly. Doc, glad to have you on board for this one. Uh, you are watching Monday Night Baseball. MNB here on the OTP Developments 
If you like this, you're going to love tomorrow because it will be the continuation of this best of three series on my stream. That will be tomorrow at noon Pacific, Tuesday afternoon baseball. We're going to be back on the air 11 a.m. Wednesday, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Doc's dugout. We always have special guests on the stream. We've had Kevin Stocker from the 1993 Philadelphia Phillies. Three-time World Series champion Jeremy Affelt on stream as well from the San Francisco Giants. This week, we're going to have none other than Spore. Spore is going to be our guest. And he'll be on with us. Our stream starts Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific. All right, folks, welcome back. It is inning number four here on stream. Now, we've got a loaded lineup here for you tonight. Of course, we've got a new tradition, the seventh inning stretch. And for those of you in the Out of the Park Developments community, be sure to watch for that. You might just see a picture of your bad self on the seventh inning stretch. We're also going to have an emote race in just a couple of innings. Top of four here in St. Louis. Whole new ball game. Eric Hosmer got the scoring going for KC in the first inning on that two-run home run out to the left. But the cards come surging back now with two runs of their own in the third. So it's a 2-2 two -two ball game. Hosmer leading things off here in the four. Carpenter looks in for the sign from Molina. Base hit up the middle. Line drive base hit for Eric Hosmer to get things going here in the fourth. Hosmer on first. And now it's Kendris Morales. Unfortunately for Kendris, and, and don't get me wrong, had a fantastic season this year in Kansas City. 290 average, 22 home runs, 41 doubles, 106 RBI. But he will probably be known best, not for the walk-off Grand Slam that he had early in the 2010 season against the Seattle Mariners with the Angels, but for what happened after that. And of course, we're talking about the celebration that Kendris Morales and his Angel teammates had when he broke his ankle on home plate as he celebrated that walk-off Grand Slam for the Mariners was never the same after that. It wiped out two complete seasons for Morales. Played in just 51 games in 2010 and then missed the entire 2011 season. This coming just a year removed, remember, from a 306 season where he hit 34 home runs back in 2009. Welcome Raiders ESCV coming to raid party. Raiders, welcome to Monday Night Baseball. You're going to be getting your silver packs. Monday Night Baseball, 4 o'clock, Mondays. And now we are on hour number one. One hour in the books as it is now 5 o'clock. We start at 4 p.m. sharp. We're nothing if not on time. So Morales at the plate with Hosmer on first in a 2-2 ball game. If you're just joining us, this is a dynastic showdown between the Show Me Stars, 2015 Kansas City Royals. They won the World Series in 2015. And the champions of 2011, the St. Louis Cardinals. Going head-to-head -head here in the Show Me Showdown. Full count. Here's the pitch from Carpenter. Morales goes the other way. Base hit left field. So Kendris gets a base knock. That'll move Hosmer to second. Two on for Mike Moustakis. Moose is at the plate. Mike Moustakis. Talked about his standout high school career in Chatsworth, California. He actually had a 
baseball scholarship offer to play at USC in Southern California. Moose said, thank you, but no thank you. Wound up being drafted number two overall by the Royals later that same year. Mike Moustakis, pretty solid financial decision for Moose. On the 2-2 offering, grounds to second. That will be a double play. 4-6-3 on the scorecard. Hosmer does move to third. But it is a double play brought to you by Dono 43-333. Louis is going for the Royals here. And boy, you got to love this opportunity right now for the Royals. Salvador Perez at the plate. Go ahead, run, standing 90 feet away. First pitch to Salvi. Perez, little number to the shortstop. Easy breezy play by for call. And that'll do it. We go to the bottom of four in St. Louis. The Show Me Showdown. Tied at two. Welcome back. Top of four we go in St. Louis. Now, before we headed to commercial break, we were talking about Mike Moustakis and the scholarship offer he got to play at USC, an offer that he declined, wound up going to play pro. David Freeze also declining a scholarship out of high school. He was offered a scholarship to play at Missouri. Freeze declined, feeling a little bit burned out by the game of baseball. Freeze sat out what would have been his freshman year of college baseball, needed a break. After that, felt a little refreshed. Went to junior college, played for a season, transferred after one season over to South Alabama, and then eventually drafted by the San Diego Padres. Just goes to show you sometimes that if you are destined to play the game of baseball, Sometimes it can be a circuitous route to get there. Freeze at the plate. Full count pitch to Freeze. Right. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Ventura has his fourth strikeout. One up, one down. And now it's Yadier Molina. Molina. Fourth rounder in 2000. Strong surge for this 2011 Cardinals team, which won the NL wildcard, clinched a spot in the postseason on the very final day of the season. A lot of that credit can be given to Yachty. Molina, late season surge after a slow start. Remember, there was a point where the cards were 10 and a half back of Atlanta for that wild card. They were just... 70 and 64 at that point. Well, final two months of the season. Check out the line on Molina. 342 average in August, 341 in September. Big reason why the Cardinals reached the postseason in 2011. Here's a pitch to Yachty. Yachty, little tapper. He might beat this one out, and he will. You are not going to see Yadier Molina beat out a lot of infield singles, but he did right there. Here's a look on your replay brought to you by Barry Basher 11. Red Sixer fan, thank you so much. Thank you for that raid party. Welcome Raiders. This is Monday Night Baseball. We stream every Monday, 4 p.m. Pacific time. We're one hour in. Good news. If you're late to the party getting those pack drops, you still have an hour left to get those silver packs. Remember, you can always get your affiliate drops, your standard packs, and then you can still get those pack drops, those silver packs, totally different on your out-of-the-park development streams. John Jay now will bat for a second time tonight. He is one for one. Jay playing college ball at Miami. Won a state championship in high school ball in the Miami area. 
Gone Jay. On the 1 0. Jay grounds it up the middle. They'll get the force at second as Zobrist flips it over to the shortstop Escobar. But there'll be no play at first. The speedy Jay strikes again. Remember, Jay reached in the second, or excuse me, the third inning on a bunt single to start what would be a two run third. Now Jay is aboard on a fielder's choice. Now it's Ryan Tirio. Tirio, first pitch, swinging a little nubber. Catcher Perez throws the first, not in time. Boy, the speed of the Cardinals burning the Royals several times here now. So Tirio reaches on an infield single. To the top of the order we go for the cards. An opportunity now for Rafael for call. For call at the play. Two on, two out. Ventura from the stretch. Here's the 0-2. Line drive, right field, base hit, and it gets through the right fielder. Rios misplays it. A run will come in. Jay comes in, Terrio to third. For Paul ends up on second on a disastrous defensive play by Rios. Here is your replay brought to you by Don't Cut the D Block Dragon. And he just took his eye off the ball. Royals are actually lucky that Terrio didn't end up scoring there. Two on, two out, one run in. Alan Craig now at the play. Craig, who already has an RBI in this one, a chance to drive in two more. 3-1 to Craig. He'll take it for ball four. And the bases are loaded. And here comes Albert Pujols. Three-time National League MVP. Had a monster series in this 2011 campaign, did Albert Pujols. Game three against the Texas Rangers. A game I don't think I need to remind you of. Five for six, three home runs, six RBI. Those three home runs tying a World Series mark. For most home runs hit in a single World Series game. You might have heard of the other two who hit three in a game. Babe Ruth, Reggie Jackson. Base is loaded. Two out to Pujols. 3-1 pitch. Pujols will spit on that changeup. Ball four for call to third. Terrio comes in to score. Cards on top now, four to two. I don't know if that's the worst thing in the world. Walking Pujols with the bases loaded. That could have been even worse. But really, we'll find out right here with Matt Holliday at the plate. Holliday, who had a monster season in 2007 for the Colorado Rockies, where he finished second in the MVP race. Led the league in batting average, hits, doubles, RBI for the Rockies. Second that year in the MVP race. Now a chance to be the MVP of this contest. Bases loaded, two out. Cards already up by two. They can blow this wide open here. And a liner to short. That'll do it. Cards leave them loaded. But they score two more. Another crooked inning. Another crooked number. At the end of four, the cards are on top. Four to two. All right, let's go ahead to a little emote race. Get everybody woken up a little bit. This is where I need you guys in chat. How are we doing Monday Night Baseball? Take a look at your screen right now. You see three emotes, three icons. You see a siren, there's a wave, and there's a black kitty cat. Well, the rules are pretty simple, folks. 
You're just going to spam chat with your favorite. One of those three. You can also spam anything, but those emotes are only going to move when you spam the emo. All right. Ready, set, go. All right. It's time for the emote race on Monday Night Baseball. Who's going to take the early lead here? Who's going to move first? Oh, there's Cavicom. That looks beautiful. That's not going to move anything, though. Anybody have a siren or a wave or a black cat? This could be awkward. Usually these things get spanned like crazy, but it's crickets here. There we go. I B D B has a siren. There's the siren. Now who's going to follow up the siren? That's the question. That's the question. Boy, there's a little bit of more. There's a little tapper dabber and then a little bit more. All right. Oh, there's some kitty cat love going on there. There's some kitty kitty. And... Well, there's some nice expos and Alex Trebek. There's a touchdown icon. We love touchdowns. Uh, there is some more kitty cat. Kitty cat's moving along. Kitty cat's going on. More siren. More siren. And we'll see who ends up winning this one. It's going to be close. There's some wave now. The wave is now moving. I was wondering about that wave. I've never seen that combo. A solid and moving wave. Oh, FDA. Wow. Holy cow. Holy cow. Who's going to win this thing? It is going to be Kitty Cat now. Mo oh, my gosh. It's going down to the wire. Who is going to win? It is oh, what is this? What is this? We have a tie. We have our first ever tie. A tie between the siren and the wave. I have never seen that. And guess who does it? It's the person who's known for the siren. EVC in NYC2. Could have pushed himself across the finish line. And takes the diplomatic approach and takes the tie. Wow. Okay. Siren and the wait. A tie on Monday Night Baseball. All right. All right. There we go. Okay. Inning number five. Here we go for the show me showdown. It will be Alex Gordon, the lead off man. Well, Capcom, we do it every day. Every Monday night we do this. And we also do it on our stream over on the old Dr. Dynastic channel. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And the seventh inning stretch. This used to be our seventh inning stretch tradition. Well, we've got a new tradition where we share pics of our friends on stream. So uh, stay tuned for that for the seventh inning stretch. Also, we've been playing marbles on stream as part of our uh, breaks. But I don't know how that would work on the Out of the Park Developments channel. I would feel weird playing marbles on stream here. So uh, we'll hold off and we'll just stick to these things that we do. Alex Gordon, your leadoff man as we start inning number five. Gordon, standout player at Nebraska, where he won, get this, the Dick Hauser Trophy, Golden Spikes Award, Brooks Wallace Award, all at Nebraska. Number two overall pick. What a college career for Alex Gordon. Now, took a little bit of time to get going in the major leagues. Had some injury problems as well. Really hit his stride in that 2011 season where he hit 303. The only season so far that Gordo has surpassed 300 in a season. In fact, not only was that a career high, he also hit 23 home runs and drove in 87 runs and scored 101 runs and stole 17 bags. That to this day, still a career year for Alex Gordon. Gordon to lead off against Chris Carpenter. Carpenter now staked for the first time to a lead, a two-run advantage for these 2011 St. Louis Cardinals. From the windup, pitches. Well, I don't know what to call it. Popped up, lined. I don't know if the replay is going to show that English coming off the bat of Gordon. Here's one more look on the replay brought to you by Jeff Steele. <laughs> 
Flex 30, uh, Flex 47. Okay, one more look. One more look. Whoa. That had some serious spin on it. Gordon is retired, and here comes Alex Rios. Rios, a two-time All-Star, hit for the cycle, and had six hits in the game. That was back in 2013. That was back with uh, in his 2013 campaign. Alex Rios, now towards the tail end of his Major League career. Rios ahead in the count. He will look at ball four. Four, pit, uh, four pitch walk there as Carpenter issues his first walk. Carpenter has hit two batters and now walked a batter for the first time. To the top of the order we go, Alcides Escobar. Escobar, 257 hitter this year, trying to move Rios over. He'll ground to short. They'll get the force at second. Alcides a little bit too quick, though. No relay throw. No turn to first. So Escobar reaches on the fielder's choice. Escobar is a threat to run. Ben Zobrist at the plate. Now, we've been talking about these major leaguers and their exploits out of high school when they wound up either going pro or going to college. Zobrist out of Eureka, Illinois didn't have a single college offer thought after that baseball wasn't in Zobrist's future well his coach convinced him spend 50 bucks pay to play in this showcase in Peoria, Illinois and drew enough attention to get an offer to play college baseball at Olivet Nazarene University. Not long after that, drafted by Houston in the sixth round in 2004. Sometimes when you don't believe in yourself, it's amazing what an encouraging word or two can do from a teammate or in this case, in this case a coach. Sobers batting from the left side. 0-2 pitch to Ben. He'll swing and miss at strike three. That will do it. A runner stranded as we head to the bottom of five at Bush. Five, six, and seven in the Cardinals lineup. Berkman, Freeze, and Molina. Lance Berkman, former standout. For the Houston Astros, five-time All-Star. Led the National League in doubles twice back in 01 and 08. And led the league in RBI in 2002. Lance Berkman. Berkman to lead things off. Berkman, first pitch offering, grounds to second. 4-3 on the scorecard, Zobrist. Over to Hosmer, one down. Now it's David Freeze, just shy of 300 on the year and 333 at bats. Freeze, who made his major league debut in St. Louis on opening day 2009. Let me check my notes on that, actually. That was St. Louis, yeah. Troy Gloss at the time was the starting third baseman. Gloss was injured. They called up David Freeze. Freeze with one out. Jumps on the 2-1 offering. Soft liner. And it's a base hit to center. Freeze collects his second base hit of the ball game. And here comes Yadier Molina. Yachty, three-time All-Star. Each of the last three years, Yachty or Molina has made the All-Star game. Consistently around 300 at the plate and also known as one of the best defensive catchers in all of baseball. Might be seeing a Hall of Famer in the making in Yachty or Molina. 
Yachty on 0-2, swings and misses on the Ventura fastball. Five Ks now for Ventura. Anybody got a good Ace Ventura reference? Put me in, coach. I'm ready. All righty then. Salvador Perez gives a sign to Ventura with John Jay at the plate. Fly ball deep center field, and this is going to go over the head of the center fielder, Cade. They'll hold the runner at third, though. Freeze. Freezes at third. Jay with a stand-up double. Boy, he smoked that one out to center. Really surprised that didn't score him all the way from first, but Freeze got the red light, got the stop sign. This piece of hitting there by Jay, nonetheless. Replay brought to you by Underdog 44. Now the cards, chance to play add on here. Already leading by two. Ryan Terrio at the play. Two on, two out. The 0 2. Base hit, left field. Run comes in. They'll wave in the runner. Jay, head first slide into home. It's a two run single. The cards are on top. Six to two. Ryan Terrio delivers. Base hit past a diving shortstop. Two runs in, another two run inning for St. Louis. That is going to prompt a Beetle Boy 911 emergency call to the bullpen. Ryan Madsen, the closer in 2011 for the Philadelphia Phillies. Comes on in relief, 32 saves on the year. And he will come in to the ball game. Ventura will be on the hook for the runner on second. So we won't close the book on Ventura just quite yet. Raphael for call with a man on. Two out. Here's the 2-2 two -two for Madsen. And here's a lazy fly ball out to center. The card strand a runner on second, but two more runs come in at the end of five. It's the 2011 St. Louis Cardinals six and a 2015 Kansas City Royals two. All right, here we go. The conversation is on. Convo is on in chat. Let me pour myself a cold one here. All right, here it is. Yachty will be an interesting one. Uh, JC Jams, I believe this is the first time I've heard from you. Uh, obviously, it has all the non-statistical stuff voters like. And he gets there in F-War, but falls way short in B-War. Okay. It doesn't have... Like, even if you, you could even look at Salvador Perez, for example... I mean, Salvi had one monster year offensively. I'll even look at those numbers here to prove the point. Well, let's see. We'll have to go to real life stats. But there's that 2021 season where Salvi just came out of nowhere with 48 home runs. Now, you can make a case for Salvador Perez. But the question will be, if you, if you take the... Wins above replacement aside. And and that's where war is going to be really interesting. Is he the best catcher? Was he the best catcher while he played the game? Certainly there's there's discussion. There, there are certainly other catchers who would be in the running. I'll let you in chat name some of them. I've got a couple in mind. Gold gloves are there. And you can't help but wonder. It is a voter-based system on writer's votes. 
and the Riders love them some guys who played their entire major league career with one team. So those are the two names I thought of. I do have a third. Buster Posey, absolutely. Hits the same criteria. Played for the same team. Joe Maurer, same thing. Going to be interesting. Going to be interesting to see if Yadier Molina ends up being a Major League Baseball Hall of Famer. He's certainly a Cardinals Hall of Famer, but will he go to Cooperstown? Lorenzo Cain will be your leadoff man as we start inning number six. The Royals, who jumped down to that 2 0 lead, now find themselves down by four. Cain batting from the right side up against Chris Carpenter. Base hit right side. Lorenzo Cain leads off the sixth with a base hit. So Kane aboard with a leadoff single. Air Cosmer, one of those homegrown kids, part of that top-ranked farm system for Kansas City in 2011 as the Cardinals were winning the World Series that year and really in the midst of their dynasty, what would end up being the end of their dynasty. Cosmer was part of the number one farm system in all of baseball for Kansas City. And when this kid made his major league debut back in 2011, this was the most fanfare that a Kansas City Royal had arguably since a gentleman by the name of Bo Jackson in the 1980s. Eric Hosmer. First pitch to Hosmer. Rounds to third. They'll get the force at second. On to first. They will get the double play. Hosmer's known for a lot of things. Running down the baseline. Not one of them. As Hosmer grounds into a 5-4-3 double play. Conversation continues in chat right now about the beneficial criteria of being an MVP. Posey won. Yachty, nothing in that regard. Kendris Morales now steps up to the plate. 1-2 to Morales. Smokes a base hit right up the middle. So Morales, former Mariner, former Angel, and now current Royal. The two-out single. Now it's the... Kansas City Royal third baseman, Mike Moustakis. Moustakis, grandfather, was born in Greece. And Moustakis, very proud of that heritage, continues to fly a Greek flag above his locker in the Royals clubhouse. Moose, as he's known in KC. Moustakis. And there's a base hit out to center. So back-to-back -back base runners here for the Royals. Eminem, Morales, and Moustakis on for Salvador Perez. Salvi, if we talk about catchers, Molina, of course, one of the best in the game. Salvi right there with him. Now, here's a story you, you may have not heard. So back in 2013, late season 2013, he needed some good luck. Teammate Alcides Escobar, the shortstop here tonight for the Royals, sprayed Salvi with perfume. Victoria's Secret ladies' perfume, to be exact. And Escobar said as he sprayed him with said perfume that Salvi was going to get four hits that night. And guess what? Salvador Perez got four hits that night. So he's been... Rocking the perfume from Victoria's Secret ever since. The good luck charm. Perez on the 1-1. Salvi. Grounded a second. I guess he didn't get his perfume today. As we head to the bottom of six. Then St. Louis. Cardinals still on top. 6-2. to two. Two, three, four in the cards order here in the bottom of the sixth. Craig, Pujols, and Holiday. Now 
Alan Craig. One for one with an RBI. Walked his last plate appearance. This time he grounds down the line. Nice play by Moustakis who will make the play. Mike Moustakis with a robbery. Check out this replay. Moustakis hugging the line. Making the play. And robbery brought to you by R.K. Brossi. That leaves the bases empty right now for Albert Pujols. Pujols. His contract will be up at the end of this 2011 campaign with the Cardinals. Would be a shame if Pujols were to walk. Drafted by St. Louis. Grew up in the farm system. Won three MVP awards with St. Louis. Cannot picture Albert Pujols playing for another team. The 0-1 to Pujols. Pujols lifts a fly to left. Easy play there. And Pujols is retired. And that brings up Matt Holliday. Holiday trying to get something going for the cards here. And they've hung crooked numbers on the scorecard in each of the last three innings. Two down. Here's a pitch from Ryan Madsen. Grounded a second. And for the first time since the second inning, the Cardinals go quietly at the end of six. It's St. Louis six and Kansas City two. So do you judge a player differently for not playing for the same team for their entire career? What could have been in a parallel universe for Albert Pujols? Would he have continued this trajectory? Where he was consistently hitting 300, 320, 330, and home runs in the high 30s, low 40s. Pujols then, in real life, goes, of course, to Anaheim to play for the Angels. First season, 285, 30 home runs. Definitely a dip. And then really dip. And then just continue, continued consistently, 240, 250. Home run numbers never really came back. Of course, in that parallel universe... How many more years could Albert Pujols stand playing in St. Louis with the pressure there if he had re-signed? Was it the pressure or was it simply father time? That was one of the, wound up being one of the worst contracts out there. Long-term contract, well north of $200 million a year. Didn't work out for Albert, certainly didn't work out for the Angels either. Alex Gordon, your leadoff man for the Royals. And there's a high fly to right, and this one is out of here. Alex Gordon wakes him up. And the Royals back on the board on a Gordon home run. No doubt about it. That home run brought to you by ESCV, the ultimate destination in baseball escapism. Gordo strikes, and it's a three-run game. Did we just get a Reggie Jackson Angels reference there? Rios now at the plate. In a 6-3 ball game. Carpenter. Pitches. Sharp grounder. Shortstop. No problem there. 6-3 under scorecard. For call throws to Pujols at first. I must kill. The queen. Alcides Escobar digs in. Hitless in two at bat so far is Escobar. Escobar on the 2-1. Weak grounder. Third base. Freeze will make the play. Throws to first side. Retire. And folks, with that, guess what time it is? It's time for a little thing we call. Wait, not yet. We need one more out. 
One more out, Doc. One more. You need three in baseball these days, not two. All right, Ben Zobris now steps up. Zobris 0 for 3 tonight. Super utility. Ben Zobrist. Zobrist smacks one to center. Can of corn for John Jay. And the side is retired. All right, folks. Let's get to it. Here is the seventh inning stretch. There it is, folks. Take a look. Our friends on the scoreboard. These are all people who are on my Discord, Dr. Dynastic. And if you'd like an invite, the invites are open. Send me your pick on my Discord. All you got to do is go to my page on Twitch. Go right there, Dr. Dynastic on Twitch. And then uh, look for that page that has Discord. Click the Discord link, and that will give you a link. We'd love to share your pick here on stream. Again, that is the seventh inning stretch. Who was that last handsome fella? I think I know that guy. Who? China Ball. That's your link again, folks. Twitch.tv backslash Dr. Dynastic. And that is one glorious mullet. Mole, mole, mole. Mole, 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 mole. Yeah, we do want to thank Barry Basher 11. Every so often we have a sponsor showcase where you have to complete a challenge, usually free of charge. This one was. And Barry Basher 11 chose to accept the mission, got a free gifted sub. And got to choose this matchup that we're seeing here tonight between the 2015 Kansas City Royals and the 2011 St. Louis Cardinals. Barry, thank you for that. I'm so glad we're making this matchup a reality for you. We'll have the continuation of this best of three series on my channel, Dr. Dynastic, tomorrow on Tuesday. And that name, Barry Basher, will be on our scoreboard in center field through the duration of this series and the rest of the streaming week. <clears throat> All right, on for the bottom of the seventh inning. Cardinals, their lead is at three, six to three. Berkman, Freeze, and Molina scheduled hitters here in the bottom of the sixth against the reliever. Ryan Madsen. And final line on the starting pitcher for Kansas City starting pitcher, Jordan Giordano Ventura. Not a good one. Four and two third innings. Ten hits, three walks, six runs, four of those earned, and five strikeouts. Those are your final numbers for the starting pitcher for Kansas City, Giordano Ventura. And now it's Berkman. Lance Berkman coming over from St. Louis after being traded from his home team, the Houston Astros, back in 2010. Wound up wearing pinstripes for a short time with the Yankees. Never was really a good fit in New York. The numbers certainly back that up. But then came over to St. Louis and now has really recharged his once promising career. Lance Berkman leading off here in the seventh against Madsen. 0 for 3 so far. Berkman will take it and he will walk for the first time. Ezra Denny, no need for kicking a team while it's down. Come on. Why would you do that? 
We'll get at least 30 people at the Coliseum. 27 is a little bit low. Berkman on first for David Freitz. And if you do end up watching that A's versus Tigers game this Saturday, be sure to look out for our friend who tried a ball. Bound to get a cutaway shot. There's no way we're not going to see who tried a ball in the stands. There's just no way. Be on the lookout for that beautiful, beautiful mustache. Do you still have the stash? Or are you still rocking the stash? David Freeze at the plate. One two pitch for, to Freeze. Base hit right up the middle. He'll send the runner and the throw to third goes in towards the dugout. And a run comes in. Freeze with a run scoring single. Bergman comes in to score. They'll charge the air to Kane. And it's seven to three. My goodness, they had him dead to right at third. Truth be told, I thought Kane's throw was actually a good one. I thought, if anything, Moustakas didn't handle it well. One more look here as Kane comes up throwing. They're going to charge it to Kane. Seven to three as the cards get that run back. Now here's Yadier Molina. Molino, 1-1 one, one offering, going the other way. Base hit, right field. They'll throw home. Throw will be cut off. They'll hold the runner on third. So Freeze holds up. Molina on first. Runners on the corners. Nobody out for John Jay. John Jay, former second-round pick for the Cards. 3-2 pitch. Tapper back to the mound. Will hold the runner. Throws the first. Jay legs it out. John Jay strikes again. Another infield single for the speedy center fielder. One more look at that one. Madsen was just a little bit slow coming off the bump. All right. Base is loaded. Ryan Terrio, who already has three hits and two RBI so far. He can blow the lid off of this one right here. Madsen looks in for the sign from Perez. Here's the pitch. Ground ball, second base. They'll get the force at second and no other. Run comes in from third. Freeze comes in. And it's an 8-2 St. Louis lead. And that is going to do it for Madsen. A Beetle Boy 911 emergency call to the bullpen. Chris Young. Chris Young will come on in relief for the cards. Runners on first and third for Rafael for call. Call, whose father was a taxi cab driver in the Dominican Republic, would call his son after games, often giving him advice all the way until his death just a year ago in 2010. Rafael Fercal missing his father, knowing he's probably watching right now. Fercal at the plate, working the count full. 3 2. Fercal, fly ball, right field. Go! Rafael Fercal has blown it wide, wide open. And then a point to the sky for his old man. Three run shot. 11 to three, St. Louis. One more look. Two men on. Three men jogging into the bullpen out and right for call strikes against Young. 11 to 3 St. Louis. My oh my. Eight run lead. Another crook.
crooked number for the cards here in the seventh. Alan Craig now. A lot of energy here in this ballpark. They are getting giddy. Craig draws a walk. Brings up Albert Pujols. Pujols. Now on a 2-2. Albert. Oops, a single to center. To hold the runner, Craig, at second. And the carnage continues. Young will pitch from the stretch now against Matt Holliday. Holiday jumps. No, he will not swing at the 0-1. The pitch goes through. Perez, wild pitch. Puts two in scoring position now. Hey, hey, a show, hey, for Minerva. Way to go. We love to hear about those dock drops. I don't know. Do I get the credit, or I think out of the park development should get the credit on that one? Two on, one out, Matt Holiday. 2-2 two -two pitch to Holiday. Grounds to short. They'll check the runner, throw to first. And Holiday is retired. And here comes Lance Berkman, former killer B. And now he loads the bases. Berkman draws the walk. Bases loaded for David Freeze. Freeze, the hero of 2011 in the World Series. The MVP of the 2011 World Series. Walk off 11th inning home run versus the Rangers in game six. Won't need any heroics here, but tell you what, Tony LaRussa, longtime skipper, wouldn't say no to another Freeze clutch home run. David Freeze grounds the third, and that will do it. But a five-run seventh, and the cards are on top in the Show Me Showdown. Three, four, five in the Royals lineup. Kane, Hosmer, and Morales. Pitch count up to 94 for Chris Carpenter. Don't know if Tony La Russa is going to entertain the thought of having Carpenter go the distance. Remember, he does want to save those arms for games two and three if necessary, but Carpenter has thrown 94 pitches so far. Tony La Russa, his sixth World Series as a manager in 2011. Third with the Cardinals. First pitch on the way to Kane. Kane lines a base hit to left. Lorenzo Kane is aboard. And here comes Eric Hosmer. Eric Hosmer looking for some late season or late inning heroics. It's going to take a lot more than a Hosmer hit, though, to get back in this one. Trailing by eight. Hosmer grounds the short into the hole. Nice play. They will turn the double play. Backhand play by the shortstop for call. Throws to second. And the relay is in time. Six, four, three, double play. Quickly, two down. Kendris Morales, DH in tonight, two for three. Morales, sharp ground, first base. Pujols will make the play. And that'll do it. Side retired as we head to the bottom of the eighth. All right, folks, 10 minutes still. We're two hours in. I'll always guarantee a two-hour stream on Monday Night Baseball. We'll see if we have enough time to do anything else after this stream. Bottom of the eighth, bottom of the order for the cards. Molina, Jay, and Tyrion. Yadier Molina. Molina. Soft liner to the shortstop, Escobar. That brings up John Jay. John Jay has reached... Three times, three base hits in four at-bats. John Jay, the spark plug at the bottom of the order. Looking at strike three, Chris Young gets the strike out. Yeah, is first. And now it's Ryan Tirio. Tirio, three hits of his own with three RBI of his own. 2-0 to Tirio. Tirio with a... 
slow roller to second and the side retired. Heading to the ninth, Kansas City down to its final three outs. Mustakis, Perez, and Gordon scheduled hitters for the Royals. Down by eight here in the ninth. Chris Carpenter remains in. His pitch count is at the century mark and even 100 pitches so far. See if he can go the distance. One, two, pitch. Carpenter rolls up a ground ball, covers first, takes the throw from Pujols, one down. Now oh, here's Perez, Salvi, 0 for 2 tonight. First pitch to Perez. Perez going the other way, fly to right. Easy play there. Can of corn for Craig, two down. And now the crowd on its feet. As Carpenter is one out away from securing a complete game victory after that inauspicious start where he gave up that two-run home run to Eric Hosmer in the first. Well, he has been solid since. Alex Gordon, 2-1 pitch from the windup. Gordon, ground ball, right side, base hit. So Alex Gordon with the Royals on life support has a single and that will do it a standing o for carp carpenter exits bush with an 11 to 3 lead it's a beetle boy 911 call to the bullpen and for the first time tony larusa will go to the bullpen arthur rhodes journeyman 41 year old pitcher comes into the contest Stops in Baltimore, Seattle, Oakland, Cleveland, Philadelphia, Florida, Cincinnati, Texas, and now St. Louis. Arthur Rhodes to close this one out. And here's Alex Rios. Lefty. Southpaw looks in for the sign. Here's the pitch. Fly to right, and there's your ball game. Show me the victory. The St. Louis Cardinals take down the Kansas City Royals in the Show Me Showdown as the Cards rub the Royals 11-3.